I thought I told you, nigga. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Janela. For those of you guys that did not know, and in today's video, I will be doing a Q and A. Get to know me tag. Um, yeah, I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram. So if you are not following me on, on, on if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me at GoodGoreeMe on Twitter as well. It's actually GoodGoreeMe too on Instagram and GoodGoreeMe on Twitter and TikTok. So yeah, I'm just going to answer like the few basic questions before we get into it. I am 20 years old. My full names are Neilo Pudana Mushokwa. My name's actually tell a story. I'll never miss up an opportunity to tell the names my story tell. So my surname is Moshoka, right? Bulana is my ancestral name. So that's the name I inherited from my grandmother. That's the name she inherited from her grandmother. And I don't know if it's and so forth and so on, but we'll just pretend it is. So my names are Nele Bulana Moshoka. So essentially that is Nele. We are given Bulana me. Kara Mushoka in the Mushoka household. Isn't that cute? <laughs> and my little sister's names also tell a story. My little brother's names are more of... They don't tell a story, but they do. So, yeah. Those are my names. I'm 20 years old. I was born in Mangkwing Hospital in Tuflop. Yes, that is a real place. <laughs> yeah, I was born in Tuflop, Mangkwing Hospital on the 5th of September, 2000, baby. So yeah, that's it. I'm at UJ studying marketing. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So I'm going to be using, reading the questions off of this phone. So if I am looking down quite a lot, okay, okay, okay. So... This question says, you are this, like these questions, man. <laughs> Thank you so much for the questions. If you did ask a question and you're watching this, you're a real one. But um, when did you start falling in love with nails? I started doing nails in 2018, December. I fell in love ever since then because I've never been to a nail salon to get my nails done ever since then. So I think I, that's when I fell in love with no, I'm lying. Okay, yeah, I'm not lying. I only started getting into and falling in love with getting into the nail business, right? Only once I started doing marketing, which was last year. So I fell in love with nails very well, since I started doing them. I just fell in love with the nail business. Or I just started the nail business. Started thinking about... <laughs> I hope I'm making sense, you guys. I started thinking about the nail business once I started doing marketing because that really opened a lot in my mind in terms of business. But I started falling in love with nails since I started doing them. Like I said, I haven't been to a nail salon to get my nails done. I don't mind the admin of sitting for two hours doing my own nails. People always ask me, how do you do your left hand? Like, wait, is it my right hand? Because I'm right-handed. How do I do my right hand? I'm just like, like that i don't know <laughs> but yeah i fell in love with nails ever since i started which is december 2018 what is your favorite movie or tv show my favorite movie is colombiana you guys i can watch that movie like 15 million times and never get tired my another favorite movie of mine which is an animation is coco oh my goodness remember me ah i love that movie so much and yeah that's a, I don't have a favorite series or like my little brother's phone is ringing so it's his friend hi gent I'm busy. Always. Mushuka's sister is busy. You'll call him in about 20 minutes. Okay. Bye. <laughs> 
What's happening? Man? I'm filming. <laughs> Your man just called. How do I end up? Oh, okay, please close the door now. Okay, um, who's your favorite sibling? My little sister asked this and she wants me to say it's her, but then that would be so unfair and not true because I don't have a favorite sibling. I love them equally and I dislike them equally as well. And this person says, why do you hardly ever post? I'm always posting, child. What do you mean? Like, are my stories or like... Or like on my feed which is i'm always posting so i don't know i don't know i don't know how much more you want me to post just come live with me somewhere <laughs> um what motivate what what motivates you to keep your business going the vision you see the vision you see when i think of my business let me let me put it this way when i started the nail business this was not what i envisioned <laughs> does that make sense like doing people's nails in my apartment which i share with my cousins was not what i had envisioned for my nail business so the vision i need to make sure that that vision becomes my reality so we start small start with what we have i have the apartment with my cousins it's working and <sighs> that's just it but that is not the vision i had for my business when i started that is just me starting with what i have where i am you know starting with what i have now because i'll too see to not start and be like i'll start when i have this and this and that because there'll never be a perfect time to start bottom line is the vision that i have for nail the by rm baby is way much bigger and it's what keeps me going am i in a relationship no i'm not um in case no one asks you how are you i'm doing good i'm really happy i'm really you know there's this tweet that said um i i i i realize how peaceful my life is when i'm only dealing with myself and really that's just where i am at this point in time in my life i'm choosing to deal with myself and it's so peaceful because all I care about is myself. Not literally because obviously I've got friends, I've got family, I've got siblings, I've got cousins, I've got people that I constantly need to care about in terms of their feelings as well in everything that I do. But Oksana, I only feel like one and I'm just caring about me at the end of the day. So just putting myself first above everything. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm really happy. I hope that you're good as well. What's your favorite thing to do in your spare time? I wish I was lying, but it's to sleep, hey? Eh? It's definitely to sleep. I can't think of anything else. I feel like that's a lazy answer, which it is, but it's the truth. I can't think of anything else. What's your least favorite nail art? you had to do before i actually don't have i really love nail art so much i actually plain sets bore me they bore me i'm gonna be honest don't stop coming to me for for them though but they bore me like i'm just doing them for the money essentially they bore me i really love nail art it makes me tap into a creative space in my mind or wherever else in me that I don't tap into like quite often. If I'm not doing nail art, I'm not in that creative space, you know. And it it makes me feel so good when it comes to life. Like this nail set, I literally just got inspo from. I don't know if you can see, but I got inspo from um, what's this called? From Instagram, and I was like, oh, I want to try that, and it came out so perfect, you guys. So I really love with the capital letter L nail art. I don't think there's any nail art that I've done that I just dreaded doing. Instead, it's plain sets like they bore me. So boring. Have you had a bad experience with the client? I have with many clients at that latecomers. 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 <laughs> Yo, latecomers because I have a life. 
I literally have a life. And also people who call me today and want to come. Can I go among no? You'll call me 20 past one. Somebody will call me right now or like text me at 20 past one and ask me if they can come today. What time today? Like what time today? Because even in my business, I ask people to send um, their pictures of their sets beforehand so that if there's something that I need to get, I, will, I can go and get and I can be prepared to do your nails and that you can be happy with them. And that's how I can also be happy with them and be able to post them on my nail page. But again, to once like it's not practical. It's not practical. You know, it's it isn't, it really isn't practical. And latecomers just I have a life. I have a life and I have plans <laughs> and I've got things to do and people to see and you know the world to explore. I have a life, you guys. I really do. Outside of doing your guys' nails, I have got a life. I promise you. I really promise you. I've got a life. And if I say, come at two and say your... What's this called? Your set, your set will take me two and a half hours. And then when I, you want to come at three... Dog, what do you mean? <laughs> Yo, guys. Late comers really like... yeah. They really get to me because what do you mean? Like, please, man. Between Joburg and Victoria, where would you settle? I think I would definitely settle in Joburg. I think so. Only because Victoria is home, you know? Who wants to settle at home? I feel if you want to settle at home, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to bash you. I was about to, but. I would. <laughs> but Pretoria is home for me. I've lived in Pretoria West. I've lived in Centurion. Lived in Centurion, Pretoria West, Centurion again. So it's home. It's home, you guys. Like, I don't know how to explain this, but it's home for me. The whole of Pretoria, I have family. I have family. It's home. It's home. And I don't want to live at home. I, I don't want to settle at home. No. I want guys adventure and yeah, and i like you know some adventure like get to know new things like the world is so big and you want to just live at home <laughs> i'm sorry but yeah i'd settle for joburg only because you gave me two options which are pretoria and joburg and i can always come back to pretoria you get what i'm saying like i can always come back home home is always gonna be there so if i settle in joburg i can always come back home and sleep at home and sleep in Pretoria and go back to Joburg. So yeah. I hope I'm making sense. But yeah. This is random. But how do you feel about dating a guy who has a child? I don't feel sweetheart. Like I don't feel sweetie. I I have a I don't know if I want children of my own in the future. So I don't... Guys, man. I feel like... I don't want to answer this wrong. Because I feel like maybe this is what you are going through. So I don't want to answer it wrong. But I'm going to personalize it to myself. Right? Me, myself, I believe that kids ruin everything. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care at them. What is? I don't care at them. No matter what. Hey, I don't care a damn. No matter. I have dealt with kids my whole life, literally since I was nine. No, seven. My little sister was born when I was seven. Since I was seven, I've dealt with kids. Till today, I'm still dealing with kids. So, I feel that kids win everything. Yeah, they give from God, but like they win everything. So, I don't know if I want to have kids of my own. So I don't know how, you know, I don't know if I want to have kids of my own then when I, but like, if I'm just dating you, like, I don't have to be a stepmom, do I? Do I? <laughs> I, I don't know, Siri, just do what you want to do, hey, at the end of the day. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I don't know if I feel anything towards that. What's, oh, I've already answered that. What's your biggest goal for this year? Let me 
this is a tough and personal one. <laughs> I don't know. I, I do know. What do I mean? Okay, let me just try and put it in simple terms, right? So that we're not here the whole day. My biggest goal, right? I want to work this in a way that it, it is about every single aspect of my life. So I don't want to just put it on maybe my money, my schoolwork, my business, whatever. I want to, you hear what I'm saying? So what I'm going to say is success is my biggest goal. Hmm. Hmm. And a driver's license but essentially success in terms not just in terms of money i know when you when somebody says uh, when somebody says success we tend to think of like huge chunks of money but i think success in being an older sister success in being a younger sister success in being a student success in being a businesswoman an entrepreneur success in all my other new business ventures that i will be Starting mm -hmm, this year, mm -hmm, look out for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> success in in everything, man. Just success and money. Yeah, success and success in money. Does that make sense? But yeah, just success and getting my driver's license. I think getting my driver's license is above everything. I think I'm not too sure. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I've answered enough. I think. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I've answered enough. Uh, thank you so much for reaching the end of this video. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it an enormous thumbs up. Please do not forget to subscribe because we are on road to 1,000 subscribers. And don't forget to comment down below of any other videos that you'd love to see from me. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a enormous thumbs up. I did say that. I'm saying it again. I'm repeating myself. Because why not? But yeah. I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye.